Unleashed Fury, the new breed of protection super dog. Why people are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to take them home? And are they a menace? Stay with us. What's the latest trend in high-end security? People paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for guard dogs. But just what makes these very specially trained canines worth so much cash? It took one very brave man, ABC's Matt Gutman, better than I, to put on the protective gear and find out. The flash of teeth, the growl, the neck snapping ferocity. Oh, shit. But don't call it as a guard dog, more like the ultimate in luxury security. A $100,000 scion of canine royalty, able to switch from kill to cuddle in seconds. Yeah, they're fur people, and they want to be part of the family. And people we sell the canines to, that's what they consider them. That trait, plus perfect pedigree and championship ranking, helped Harrison Prather, owner of Harrison Canine here in Aiken, South Carolina, recently sell one of his three-year-old pooches for $230,000. Take the three dogs we worked with. Izzo, about 100000 Indo, nearly 50000 and my favorite, Flecky, a bargain basement price of $37,000. So what kind of people can afford a $50,000 or a $200,000 dog? Well, my average client is a businessman. He... Travels extensively. He usually owns his own company. Uh, he's worried about security. And bodyguards are really not an option. They're not necessarily trustworthy. Celebrities, too. We do, we do, we do a considerable amount of business with celebrities. Um, also professional athletes. That's pretty much our clientele. And they're ditching often surly bodyguards in mass, or the sublime combination of lover and fighter you find in these pooches. Plus, unlike humans, these dogs can't be bought. So if I take Flecky over here and uh, I hand her a steak, can I bribe her? That would no. Be, no? Can't get her to... She won't eat from me, no. She won't eat from anybody that's not her handler or her that's, owner? That's correct. Smart dog. Well, they're conditioned that way. But when they need to turn to protector mode... It can be done with a single a command. Yeah. They have this innate fear of being eaten by an animal. Teeth are scarier than Teeth. guns. In people's minds. And it's all in the mind. And Harrison wanted GMA to see it up close and personal. Oh, boy. I've held snakes and battled crocs, but I've never actually been bitten by a 100-pound uh, dog before. So right now I'm a little nervous. Well, you should be. You I played my part of aggressor. This is happening. This is actually happening. Now, Harrison's been doing this for 36 years, and this was only the second time he's agreed to unleash one of his dogs at a journalist. And pretty quickly, I learned why people are generally more afraid of fangs than a pistol-packing criminal. You could actually feel him crushing the plastic thing here. These dogs are put through three rigorous years of training in Germany before even arriving at Prather's Canine Center, a top gun school of sorts for the world's finest pooches, where they hone skills like tracking. We had our producer Tracy play with Ina for a while to get her scent on her. Then she hid in the woods. It took Ina just about 30 seconds to find her. Good girl. Ideal dogs for secret missions. Prather has trained dogs for the Navy SEALs for teams like the one that took out Osama bin Laden. You've trained uh, like SEAL Team 6 dogs, is that true? That was in the 80s. I, I can't talk about that. If he told me, he'd have to kill me or have one of his friends do it. For Good Morning America, Matt Gutman, ABC News, Aiken, South Carolina. Thank you, Matt. We're now joined live here with Harrison Prey, the owner of Harrison K9, and this is Indo. Indo. Now, Indo's a two-year-old German Shepherd. Two-year-old German Shepherd. Now, we saw what Indo can do when provoked or when doing Indo's job, but there is a nice, sweet, cuddly side here. He's a cuddly well. side. He, he, can, he can be petted. He likes to lick on you. This is this. This is this is the other side of Indo. This this is why they're worth fifty to hundred thousand dollars. So what can take Indo from a nice family dog to a guard dog just like that? We just put him on command. He commands. Sit, fly, this boy. So it's a series of commands, theoretically it's known only to response. the. Now they come over from Germany. You've had Indo for about how many weeks? Um, we've had him about four weeks. So how long is the training process? Um, he's been in training since the time he was eight weeks old. We train him at our facility for three months. Yeah. 
So at the end of three months, ready to go. When he arrives here, how much training has he had? He's had. He's got a uh, master's degree in tracking and being some protection. College should say. Now we saw that. We saw the tracking as well. Why is that important as well as security and protection? Well, I mean, for for the average individual, um, say the child wanders off, the dog can go find. Now, Tracy's actually here. Now, they, Tracy was saying, come on in, Trace, that Indo met her a couple weeks ago, but remembered her scent yeah, right away. absolutely. So is that, is, is that, how many scents can they catalog? Um, they have scent discrimination. They can go into a, uh, they can go into a cosmetic counter and, and locate a particular odor now, as a bomb or, or, or a narcotic. A lot of people are going to hear numbers like $230,000, $50,000 and think that is a remarkable sum. We heard the type of people who do seek out your services. Is there a big market for them? Well, I wouldn't say there's a big market for them, but there's a niche market for them. There's a niche market for them, and it's a niche. It is definitely a niche Certainly market. filling. Well, yep. Harrison, really appreciate you coming here to Times Square. Thank and you. And Indo, thanks very much. I have a feeling you'd find plenty to do out and about in, in Times Square. That's going to do it for here.